Officers, attention! Our top story today, a Richmond police officer shot and killed in the line of duty will be laid to rest. Officers presented a flag to Officer Sierra Burton's family this weekend as thousands of people paid respects. News 8's Amisha Ramsey is live outside Richmond High School where officers and the public will begin arriving for Burton's funeral later this morning. Uh, tell us about the arrangements for today, Amisha. Sorry, Scott, Kylie. Um, as we can imagine, this has been very painful for the, over the past few weeks for Officer Sierra Burton's family and for her friends and also those officers that she's connected with. We can expect her body to arrive here outside of the Tiernan Center around 8 o'clock. There's not much activity going on right now, but we'll be able to see people coming in uh, throughout the morning. Now, arrangements released by the Richmond Police Department say that she'll arrive again at 8 o'clock. Now, Burton was a four-year veteran of of the department. She was 28 years old. Police say a suspect shot Burton during a traffic stop on August the 10th, less than two weeks from her wedding. Now, doctors deemed her injuries unrecoverable, so she was removed from life support on September the 1st. Burton died from her injuries last Sunday. Now, yesterday, hundreds of people awaited in line at the Richmond City Building to pay respect at Burton's visitation. Officers also held a ceremonial passing of the flag in her honor. The city is now preparing a shuttle, much of the community, in for Burton's funeral. Now, streets around the high school will be closed. Police say shuttles will begin at 8 o'clock. Now, those pickup and drop-off locations are right there on your screen. They're at the 5th, 7th, 10th, and 13th streets in West National Road. Doors will open to the public at 10 o'clock. Now, officers will file in starting at 11. The funeral will likely get underway around noon. Now, after the service, a procession will take Burton's body to Richmond Police Department, where it will pause for a final 1042 call. Then it will continue under the garrison flag before reaching U.S. 40 for a nearly 70-mile journey to Indianapolis. Now, Officer Burton's body will finally be laid to rest at the Crown Hill Cemetery. Again, this is coming from uh, weeks of preparation and also just her family anticipating this day and they'll finally say their final goodbye. So again, it's with heavy uh, heart that we're having to cover this funeral, but people will pay their respects today. But for now, we'll stay back and we'll continue to bring you live coverage of Officer Sierra Burton's funeral all throughout the morning and daybreak. Just stick with us. Send it back to the studio reporting live from East Rich Richmond. Amisha Ramsey, wishtv.com and follow us on Facebook. Amisha, thank you and thanks for the view of the procession. If you want a longer look at that, use your phone, scan the QR code that's on your screen right now. That'll take you to the As Seen on Wish TV section. Our funeral coverage is the first story in it. Stay with Wish TV all morning. We'll bring you live coverage of all of the day's events. Indiana State Police Sergeant John Perrine is joining us on our set during our News 8 at Midday. And for the funeral service, he'll bring us expert insight as Burton's family and officers walk into Richmond High School as the funeral starts. We will carry it live in full here on News 8.